Do you want to hear my Judy Dench impression? No. Yes. Hi, I'm Judy Dench. I'm glad I said yes. Hello, Nyaki. Hey, Ben. How you doing, mate? You alright? Yeah, I'm alright. I'm, I'm really enjoying... Uh... Enjoying seeing me again? Yeah. It's Cracking. been a while. Yeah. Um, okay, so I have a couple of questions for you sure. today. Shoot. Shoot. Okay. Um, just let me get through this whole question, right? Yeah. What's your least favourite race? Because some are better than others, aren't they? Like... Is there like a race in particular that you just, you cannot stand? That just really sort of, you just, if you could get rid of it, you, you know, if you, you could get rid of it, you could. Because before we started recording, you were telling me how much you hate the 400 metres. Yeah, that's what I was saying. And if you could get rid of it, you would. I would, in, in a heartbeat. You, you find it to be I slow, unnecessary. Vacuous. Vacuous. And selfish. And selfish. Yeah. Tell you what, here's another race that I get rid of immediately. 100 metres. I'm going to, yeah, 100 metres. That's an unpopular opinion. I realise it's going to cause a division, but um, how can you actually measure someone's running capability on 100 metres? What if there was like a separate, separate Olympics or separate sport thing just for that, that race? 100 metres? Yeah. Only that. It would be like, you know, it would take up five minutes. Would you call it a lesser race? Yeah. 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 Okay. Just out of, out of interest, what, what race do you think is superior? I'm asking for your opinion now, not mine. Okay, fine. What race are... What do you consider to be a superior race? I think the 200 metres is good. 200 metres. Yeah, there's enough time to get enough acceleration that you can actually tell someone's... You know what I mean? It's not yeah. always the guy who gets the best start that wins, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I just feel like that's a good that's a good race, you know? I would, I would say... Um, egg and Spoon. Egg and Spoon. That's a given. Yeah. It's a solid race. Sack. Race. Yeah. The sack race. Yeah. That's a good one as well. Uh, one legged, or is it the three legged? Three, three legged. Three legged race. That's a good one. Yeah. I've never done a three legged race. Have you never? No. We'll have to do one at some point. Yeah. So, as you can see. Mm. I'm wearing a particularly enchanting tabard today. Yes. And may I say how good you look in it. Thank you. You look absolutely stunning in it. Thank you very much. It's partic- particularly enchanting. Yes. You would say. Um, did you know they, they can't use um, they can't use animals in the circus anymore? I didn't know that. They can't use the animals in the circus. When was the last time you went to a circus? Uh, two thousand and six. Well, they can't use animals, and apparently because of the um, the old uh, Europe. Because of Europe, they can't yeah. they can't do that. Um, but yeah, like, no, the last time I went, they were still still using animals. So um, it was. Uh, what, what what was the circus like for you when you went? Was it good? It was really good. There were two clowns doing a washing machine act. Uh, there was a girl jumping on ponies. Um, it was an Austrian circus. Austrian, yeah, yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, no, I, I saw like a sort of an English one, like yeah. a British traditional. It's called um, it was called Uncle Eric's Asbestos Circus. So it was, you know, you had the clowns and everything, um, yeah. and the animals and stuff. And then right at the end of the show, he would lower this big cannon down, and he would just fire a cannon loaded with asbestos into the audience. Um, just, just, just yeah. shot after shot of asbestos. Yeah. Just flaky, dusty asbestos, just just firing into the lungs yeah. of all the audience members. 
Um, and then a, a, a how was your chemotherapy? Journey? Fine, yes, yeah, fine. Uh, the ringmaster um, was a penguin in like my top hat and tails. Nice. Uh, it was cute. Nice it was cute. Touch. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, but you know, Uncle Eric would just fire asbestos at people. Yeah. Again. Was again. he an animal? No, 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 no. no just, he, a, just a fella. Just, just a man. A guy, just a man. Just who, a dude. Who, who does? Who does? You know, in a hazmat suit, firing asbestos into a crowd of people have yeah he he was yeah he was fine he had breathing apparatus and things but he just yeah. you would fire asbestos at us um so yeah you know that's 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 that bit yeah yeah it's nice Is there anything you want to ask me, by the way, whilst we're here? Um, yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of things I wanted to ask you. Um, you've seen the movie Jurassic Park? Yes, quite a while ago, but yes, I'll... Uh... You've seen it? You've yep. Seen it. Um, I want you to put yourself in the shoes of Richard Attenborough, who okay. played Mr. Park. Mr. Yeah. And I want you to just reimagine, because a lot of what things went wrong in Jurassic Park. They did. I mean, that was the plot, really, wasn't it? It was the fact that, that he, he was doing something that he shouldn't have done, and it, that's why yeah. it went wrong. Yeah. And the dinosaurs... All got out of her, and they had a right fucking laugh, didn't they? They had a big mischief. Yeah. A bit of mischief. What would you have done differently? I if probably... you had designed the park? What would I have done differently to prevent... The prevent... dinosaurs from running riot? I probably, what I would have done... Is maybe rather than dinosaurs, mm-hmm. just done like animals. Yeah. So like instead of instead of like a Velociraptor, I'd do like a pig, or you know instead of <laughs> a T Rex, I would have done like a an elephant or something. So you could have like instead of like the dinosaurs because they're quite vicious, I would have yeah. sort of animals, and that way people could pay to come into the park and see all the animals, right? They could pay yeah. like money, a season ticket or something. And would have all the animals from all over the world. Families. Family day out, you name it. So yeah. they could come, they could see, oh, there's the little pig, there's the elephant, there's the giraffe, there's Instead the of a brontosaurus. Instead of a brontosaurus. Because a brontosaurus, well, it's a fucking di- it's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. It? It's a dinosaur, so it's probably quite violent, quite vicious, maybe. Um, wouldn't like to be caged, whereas animals no. sometimes can be quite docile. I'm not saying we should cage all the animals. No, like, no, 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 but, 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 but it's it's... For people who've never been abroad, and there are, let's face it, in modern Britain, there are a lot of people who've never been abroad to an exotic country who would really pay money to see... A pig. A pig, a seal, um, a camel. A potato. A potato. <laughs> a stapler. A stapler. Um, and a lava lamp. Yeah. So, you know, people would pay... And, and you know, it's a good thing for the kids. It's a good thing, you know... Summer holidays, they're you know they're kicking cans about down the road. Yeah, they're kicking they're kicking tramps to death. They right. want to go out and they want to go and see something with themselves. So I think maybe just if I could find a name for it or something, that'd be good. Like if so instead of Jurassic Park, it'd be like at the animal uh, animal park, animal world or something. Animal world, animal. Um, I mean, if there was a more common name for it, that'd be good. But I don't think there is one. So probably I don't wouldn't. think no it doesn't. I mean, it's no no point no no point dwelling on it. No, so that's probably what I, what I pro- so so to answer your question, what I would have done differently is not resurrected mm. dinosaurs using the DNA from um, their blood inside yeah. mosquitoes Amber. from amber. Yeah. I would have just bought some animals and had a little little park full of animals. Nice, like a pig or a stapler or a potato or a potato. If I could just drill deeper um, into the amber and find the blood of my answer. Yeah, yeah. Then I would okay, to I'd grow. Be- a dinosaur, a dinosaur of my response. What would that dinosaur look like? It would have some feathers. Right. And some wings. Have you gone modern dinosaur? Well, the modern conception of the dinosaur yeah, based, yeah, on, yeah. based on the geological and archaeological evidence that we yeah. have. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. Uh, it, it would have wings, feathers. Uh, a beak? Uh, a beak, but then no head. Instead of a head, it would have a potato. And maybe little staplers for feet. 
Right. So, like, it, it tries to sneak up on things, but it goes click, 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 click. And it's easy to track. And it's easy of to all track because all the state you just follow the, the trail yeah. of staples, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's how I do it, yeah. As you know, yes. um, the stag is my favourite animal. It is a beautiful animal, yeah. It's a beautiful, majestic animal. Um, some f- Let's first of all, I'd like to run through your facts about stags. Okay. So, stags have antlers. Yep. Stags live where? Chepstow. Chepstow. Broxtow. Broxtow. Belgium. Belgium. And Plasto. Plasto? Yeah. Where's is that in where's that? It's East London. Is East London? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well it's like um it's not near Dagenham. Near Dagenham. Yeah. Um so we know where stags what stags have, we know where they live. What do they do? Now some professions. Copywriter. Copywriter. Accountancy. Accountancy. Hospitality. Hospitality. And? Massage. Massage. Okay, so that's three facts about stags. Now, if you were a part of a stag, what part would you be? Would you be the antlers, the head, the fuselage, the chassis, or the tail? I'd probably be the chassis of so this. That's a strong choice, okay. Would you explain, please? Yes. Um, you know, if you get a dent, you can get that seen to by a, a panel beater, for example. Yeah. You can get resprayed a different colour if you feel good. You get the licence plate, you know. Yeah. You know, if you're feeling frisky, you can you can have any of that done. Get buffed, get washed, get cleaned. You know, you're seeing everything as it's yeah. going on with the animal there. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's important, you know, it, it, it's integral to the thing, that, you know, like, you couldn't say, oh, I've changed the chassis. No. You wouldn't totally change the chassis, would you? Um, you wouldn't swap it out for something else, whereas you could have an antler swapped in, can't you? Yeah, yeah. I was, um, I was reversing my stag uh, last week, and, and there was a lorry uh, just maybe... 10 feet away, and I was reversing the stag quite violently. Right, yeah. And I hadn't seen the lorry, but they're behind me. They should see that I'm reversing. A stag is reversing, yeah. Yeah, and um, and the lorry hit the tail. And then I had to step out and obviously, you know, assess the damage, and... The lorry's license plate had cracked, so now I have to get onto my insurance. Yeah, yeah, and that's just that's think of the think of the the headache that that's gonna cause. Yeah, yeah, because it's at least three shillings and sixpence damage. Probably more, much more than that. Probably. Yeah. What do you reckon? What do you think? Several right. krona. Hmm. Several Norwegian krona. I don't really do exchange rates. No, no, no. we don't do exchange rates. Um, well, that's, that's all I need to know about stags. All right, fine. Well, I'm glad you asked me because I, you know, I, that, that was, you know, that was kind of funny. Did you have your uh, riding license? No, I, I, yeah. I've never, I've never had one. They've never called me up on it before, so they never. Right. They never, they've never called me out on it before. Are you I'm insured? Ne- um, on your. Stag. No. But then I, I I don't need one. Everything's where I, you know, I'm quite central to the city. Yeah. You know, I don't need, really need to get around that much. I've never really needed to own a stag. No. You know? It uh, doesn't make sense in the big city. I think that's why a lot of millennials don't have their riding licence because they, you know... In this interconnected world. Sure. That, you know, it's more environmentally friendly to use public transport, to use... Uh, a horse. A horse, for example. Or a sausage dog. You stand on it like a surfboard. 
Yeah. You're right. <laughs> I just got a, got something here. Isn't wasting it? my thumb. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's good. No, it's good that we've done that. Yeah, it's was good it, that we've, was, we've, we've done that. So, in Yaki, mm. if you had to start a small business yes. with one of the following three ducks, mm-hmm. which would you choose? Yeah. A. Donald Duck. B. Daffy Duck. Mm. C. Toilet Duck. Now, I'm going to talk you through this because I've, I've drawn up the pros and cons for each one, okay? So firstly, we'll just talk about Donald Duck. Mm. The, one of the most famous ducks. He is, yeah, one of the most famous ducks. Is there anything yeah. that jumps out for you immediately that you would think the pro, pros or cons of starting a small business? Uh, pros, pros, he's always up for anything. He's, very, he's, a, he's proactive, go-getter, uh, very optimistic. Yeah, he is, yeah. Um, con, very unlucky. He is, mm. an, he's an unlucky duck. Plus, he's sort of he's barely he's barely intelligible. Like you, you can hardly make out what he's Could, saying. Couldn't be, a, you know, if we were at a meeting, couldn't understand. You wouldn't what understand saying. it. But I think one of the pros I've got down is that he might have some kind of access to his uncle's capital. Well, does he though? Well, that's just it. I mean, Scroo- I, he's not called Scrooge for no reason, so it would no, it would come with with strings attached. But I think that is a lot of money you could go to invest in. He, he, yeah, he might want a, a percentage of the business or something. Yeah, well, he's got he's got a whole safe full of Kruger Rand that he could sort of dive into. And, yeah, yeah. But you know, I I don't want his potential inheritance to sort of. Um, I don't want my business to be contingent on that. You know. Yeah, should you decide to buy him out in future? Yeah. Fine. So that's that's Donald. Donald. Right, it's Donald. So Daffy, okay. Yeah. Now Daffy's got the confidence, right? So, you know, his sort of like go get an attitude yeah. might help you secure the necessary yeah. premises for the business, you know. Yeah. Um But one of the things that would concern me about Daffy would be his gratuitous speech impediment. Yeah. Um, Again, not really intelligible. No. I would say he's more intelligible than, than Donald. Yeah, but no, no, it that. might prevent him from taking like a public facing role if you were to open say like an ice cream parlour together. Yeah. You know, he's I, the, I, he's there trying to serve like you're a rad free ripple. You know, and he's just spitting everywhere on the ice cream. I I don't think that would be good. No, exactly. I w- you know, I wouldn't want him to do any of our ads. I don't want him to uh, pitch. You would the pitching, would you? I would do the pitching. Fine. Um but on principle I I'm just going to put this out now. I'm not working with Dappy Duck. Is there a reason for this? And it's not because he's black. It's because he's... Fundamentally, I find him a despicable character. Okay. Just... Well, I'm not going to drill down any more on that. I'm going to let the audience make their own minds up as to what right. the reason... Okay, yeah, that's, no, that's fine, fine, that's fine. So, this kind of brings us on to the real mystery candidate, which is Toilet Duck. Okay. Hmm. Because, well, if you think D- Donald's bad at talking, Toilet Duck is just it's a cleaning product, so you, you know. You get nothing out of it. But you'd be able to keep your bathroom clean if you have yeah. bathroom on site, and that's all. Yeah. Um, but again, it'd probably be useless at negotiating contracts or tax returns, that sort of thing, because it's a cleaning product. I would get an accountant anyway. You'd get an accountant to do that, would you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so who would you pick? You've got, you've got Donald, you've got Daffy, and you've got Toilet. <sighs> Three strong ducks. You can only open a small business with one. Who would you Who would you pick? Um, I'm going to say toilet. You're going to toilet go, duck. Toilet. You're going to not go for the other the two animated characters. You're going to go for the actual cleaning product. Toilet yeah. Duck. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And and what sort of business would you open? Uh, we would open a uh, dog walking uh, company. Okay. And would this have a be based anywhere? Would you be a sort of? I think we'd be we based in in um, in the Greater London. Greater area. London area. Okay. Yeah. And would there be like a name of the business or? Gosh. Um, uh, who gives a duck? Who gives a duck? Yeah. 
Okay. Now, now that I, you're thinking, why would you open a business with a, a dog walking business with a cleaning product? I would do the walking. He would do the cleaning and the killing of the animals. Yeah. Yeah. Because we poison them with with him. With him, yeah. Um. And. Uh, okay. I could also sell him on. You could sell him on, yeah. yeah. Would you have a bathroom? No. If you did have a bathroom, what colour would the walls of the bathroom be? Uh, avocado green. Avocado green, cool, strong. Um, would the uh, would your business have disabled access? No. No. Would Don't you care about disabled? No. Okay, fine. Um, would you take cash only, yeah. or would you allow both credit and debit card payments? Uh, credit, debit, PayPal. And Cont- Apple Pay. Con- contactless payment? Con- oh, absolutely. You're going, absolutely. yeah. Absolutely, contactless. Would you cater to same-sex couples? No. Okay, fine. <laughs>